a piece of cake and make a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, the favorite show that's on the internet. I'm the best guy ever, and I'm joined by Hypocrite. Hey. Monkey Jones. God, I'm so lazy. <laughs> and the munchman himself, uh, Mr. Munchishatsky. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> What's he doing? Go, go, go! What's happening? Go! What's he doing? What is that? Start the episode, go! Rubbing? Okay, uh, today's today's <laughs> episode is a fire about by rubbing two twigs together. Go! <laughs> Probably. Today's episode is about laziness, everybody. Oh, We're talking hey. about laziness. Uh, that being said, let's move on to our questions. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Uh, I've got a question right here. Let's see. From our good friend at occurred Jacob uh, at occurred Jacob. Yes. Asks. Uh, hey, hashtag SCP. I got into PCP through Digi's most popular video, even though it isn't his best. Does that mean clickbait has some value? Clickbait is the only thing that has value. Everything else mm-hmm. is fake. Wait, what, yeah. what did he say? He got into Digi by Well, he watched he watched Digi's most popular video, and even though it isn't Digi's best, or it's like his not his most like artistically valuable or whatever, but he's asking, does that mean that clickbait is actually valuable? That it can can lead to good things. Yeah, but I most, think, how is that I, a clickbait thing? Was his most popular video clickbait? Well, I I gotta go check which one it is. I think it's the what is anime, but I gotta it, go it, confirm it, that. It's That's not the, clickbait. Um, I think it's like I, it's 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 the uh, shitty anime fucking sucks one episode kill yourself. Is it Asterisk War or uh, no, something like that? No, it's fucking the one how to tell the that thing, if you're gay, episode one. Yeah, I, it's how to tell right. if an anime is gay, episode one. The, the, the <laughs> thing about Digi is that, I mean, all of his videos have thumbnails and titles designed to make you click on them, so they're all right, right. clickbait in a sense. It's just a style of, of presenting an idea. And I guess, but is it really clickbait if it's accurate? I thought clickbait was more of like a false advertising you know, or th- a lazy thing. Is, yeah, that's what people think yeah, of yeah. when they think clickbait. I guess you know, there's ways to interpret clickbait. Like if I make a book and I give it an interesting cover, is that fucking book bait or is that according- oh he's advertising his book? <laughs> I think no, according to chill. this guy, yes, that is clickbait. That's like, retarded. Yeah, that, that, to... I know that's totally worth. So warped. anything totally that warped. has a good design is clickbait. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, it's... yeah, that's. I, mean, I don't even Jamal. blame him though. A lot of people think that way these days. Well, yeah, but I would say, if if it, I think his well, point is it. like, is is something you know better to be flashy to get attention, if in the mm-hmm. long run it introduces you to some cool shit, and I would say yes, because of course, you this you would never learn like, about like yeah. cool things unless they were advertised. You gotta I take think... that black pill before you can um, uh, learn about the ancients. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Before you get in touch with your ancient Martian male dominant uh, psychic powers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's 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 like this guy's asking, is it possible that like advertising has like any actual practical use sort of, you know, like it's not like the the I I feel like he's saying like when he says clickbait, what he really means is, you know, the stuff we were saying like is making things pretty to attract eyes. Like is that a good thing? Can that have value? And the yeah. answer is yes, if it, you know, like I feel like there's kind of a moral implication that, like, your work should have some real value. Like, it should be, I don't know, it should have something to say. If it's just there, if, like, have you seen these videos that pop up, like, um, I don't know, uh, like, like Davu was posting these weird, like, top... cancer awareness pieces that make you think, ooh, yeah. oh, oh, there they are. <laughs> Like or, or those like like top ten like hottest vines of the month videos you see yeah. like I mean, like like that's okay that is literally garbage yeah. it's wasting your time but like to I think do I a, think the distinction know. is like something that mm-hmm. can't get through by word of mouth is not mm-hmm. clickbait like if something only gets popular because of the clickbait and it has mm-hmm. no value and nobody cares about it other other than like clicking on it then it's yeah. clickbait if it's like you know. A video that could get by by word of mouth with like a terrible title and thumbnail. People just say, "Dude, watch this. Watch this." Mm-hmm. Um, zero point five eight presses panencoic thing. It, it does. It, I know it's weird, but it's just the coolest thing you've ever seen. And you watch yeah. it, and it is. You know, it's got. It doesn't have like a title that draws you in. It's it's confusing, and it you know. But it it's one of those things that doesn't need clickbait. But clickbait. There's like a medium in the middle where, like, it's like well, sometimes yeah. something is not ex- in- inherently shareable, but it's still good, and you know you wouldn't tell anybody like, about it. But clickbait is help- helpful for that. 
if that video, like that Pam and Koic one, for example, if that video was titled something like, you know, like, epic, uh, you know, hack discovered in Mario for secret whatever, like, everything about it was the same, but it had some sort of crazy, like, fancy, it got, like, an artist to draw some crazy cool thumbnail for it, and it had, like, a, a sick name that attracted eyes. Like, would that make the video worse, or, like, the content any worse? Of course I not, think, you know. Well, it might make the perception worse, because, like, the whole idea of, of people going, oh my god, I can't believe somebody plays Super Mario to this degree where they're trying mm -hmm. to not press the A button so much. That they're doing all this stuff, and he's like, he's got hundreds of videos, all titled very, very matter of factly, and that's yeah. like part of how how cool it is that you would share well, it. Well, I suppose I don't know. I I don't really think that that diminishes. Uh, it doesn't the diminish the video, it but as... it, it 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 might like change perception a bit. If you just stumble upon a, a clickbait channel, and you hate clickbait. You might not even mm -hmm. think about going any any further. But, but, I mean, that's what we're talking about, right? Like, redefining what clickbait is. Like, ah. the content is good, and if it's just called something to attract eyes, you know, then it's just just it's just it's playing the game. Clickbait that's is inherently see, anyway. good, and there's never been a bad use of clickbait before. I mean, it, it's it's used to get, you know, you know sometimes people can, can misuse it, but I think it's inherently mm -hmm. good, and it helps people get their message across. Of course, there's going to be some bad seeds, you know, make, making making gimmicky thumbnails and bad titles just, just to attract... You know, people's eyes, their worthless content, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, saw, like me. I saw, yeah, I saw some shit like <laughs> like, like identifying stereotypes in Gauko-chan or some bullshit like that. Yeah. Just a yeah. ton of bullshit <laughs> that's, that's bogging it's down. It's defying the fucking, stereotypes. Yeah. No, this, see, listen, how progressive is that? Defying stereotypes. I love thick women. I'm into fat people. I love fat people. Yeah. That's what it's about, you guys. Oh, my God. Let me die. Uh <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have a question for Hippo, then. Uh, mm -hmm. With this definition of clickbait, one that I don't agree with, when you redid all your thumbnails and all your uh, episode titles, would you consider any of that to be clickbait? Or do you think that's just an accurate representation of what the video is? Well, I mean, the video isn't about, like, a close-up of a guy's face. But I... Yeah, I would say it's kind of clickbaity cuz I'm trying to draw your attention to like big eyes. Big eyes work for some reason, like your big face. Yeah, but face. I don't think that's clickbait mm -hmm. because the character in the thumbnail is in well, the yeah. video. If you just had a close up of some girl's cleavage, that would be clickbait cuz it's I not almost accurate. did. I almost put <laughs> Tifa's tits in in the Final Fantasy 7 one even though there's no Tifa well, tits in the video. Yeah. Well, that's perfectly that's perfectly acceptable. Tifa is relevant to the subject yeah. matter. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm but not if an she idiot. Appear I'm not in the video. It's false advertising, I would that's, say. Yeah. I well, totally disagree. She, I totally she appears disagree. like in video game footage in the in the background. Like it's not, you know. I just put a recognizable character from the thing in question on the thumbnail, and that's you know. Right. I think we I all think understand. that's okay. But I I, yeah, I, I would I, say I, that it is like baiting clicks with, you know, stuff. I mean, if we're defining clickbait, right, as something that just baits clicks, as in you are like you're you're doing things, you're sort of uh, you know adding like a sugary over layer to like your video in the presentation to get people just to click on it out of the blue then then like everyone who spends any time designing a thumbnail or thinking about the name is committing various degrees of clickbait but i don't think i think there's like a cultural meaning attached to the term clickbait as in like you're like being deceptive or you're trying yeah. to trick people uh, and yeah, none guess. of us do that none i guess do that anyway. uh, yeah then like, maybe I consider no. clickbait to be uh like your top ten most racist things. Number ten will make you want to murder Monkey all white Jones. people. Yeah, yeah, like that's clickbait. Well, if, if when they, they make it, if they actually, if the video is actually about that, it's not clickbait. That's just it what is. It is. It, it is because they always say like uh -huh. number three will make your dick explode. It's always this huge expectation okay. Okay. just for a boring, shitty list. I agree. If there's deception at play, if it is a boring, shitty list. Well, Which it always I, maybe is. this guy. What if the guy really does think that it is going to make your dick explode? You know, they <laughs> they never they never do. No, you you hmm. can you can taste okay. the the insincerity in titles like that. That's true. You can kind of just feel it. Okay, I, I would judge it on a case by case basis, but I think we're pretty much on the same page. I yeah. would say advertising and and stylized titles and thumbnails is good, mm -hmm. but clickbait usually doesn't lead to anything that great in my definition of clickbait. I yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, from things I like at, are good, things I don't uh, like are bad. This fucking question sucks! Move well, on! We're done with it. We're done with it. Okay. <laughs> who's, from, uh, who's got another question? Munchie. Kazzy, yes. Oh, Munchie. From okay. Kazzy Snap. Um, uh, a couple ones yeah, here, but the most interesting one. 
fave slash least fave PCP episode you've recorded. Uh, my favorite was mm. probably Shrek vs. Harry Potter. That was oh, yeah. Lucid Nightmare. <laughs> Guys, go buy the bonus episodes. Bonus go be a five dollar patron. Bonus Get that bonus episode. episode. Bonus Come episode. on. And and, and 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 my least favorite one was probably Social Media or Irony vs. Sincerity. Those two were the worst things I've ever been a part of in my entire life. Um, I hated the mm. the animal rights one the most. I didn't uh, like. It. I had fun in that one, surprisingly. Just I mean, there, on there was some fun. I was just like, I was not in a good mm-hmm. mood, and it could, yeah. and it showed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's how we, I feel we, about we most of the fighting. episodes I'm on. I always feel like I'm coming off in a bad way, but that's okay because I'm a bad person. <laughs> Very good. I I just enjoy. I don't really listen to the episodes back because I I just enjoy having the conversations, which is why I do this so much. Uh. I don't really have negative feelings about any of them. I, I love them all, though I, I, I'm not really a viewer of them. So, Well, I don't view go. them either. I just remember them. And then I look at the yeah. comments and I'm like, oh, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> I love uh, <sighs> I love, I love Jesse's Gaia Online avatar. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that was, was pretty cool. great. <laughs> Social media. So I'm just going to say that's my favorite. There you go. That's my favorite one. Okay. Oh, wait, he asked for least favorite, though. I, I don't know. They're all bad. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I liked Undertale from years ago. Oh, that's that's it's my me. favorite. Did you about oh, me? yeah, oh, dog. I'm back. I'm back. It's, it's irrelevant. I have a changed voice. It's I, you. I, I thought it was going to be going to be less grating, but it actually is more grating. It's uh, it's even more than it was before. You thought that was bad. Now forget a load of fucking this shit. Uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> it's me, the Undertale. Uh, uh, five, eight, seven. Oh, it's me. Oh, guys. Thank God he's oh, back. All right, bye. Well, glad he was, he was so brief with that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, hey, here we go. Okay, but uh, here's, here's a real question. At Fat Man Falling, uh, Mr. Mikey Fell, I know this guy. He's always <laughs> uh, commenting on my shit. Uh, would you rather have one million subscribers who will never pledge to your Patreon or double your Patreon right now? Dude, that is the double most Patreon. obvious yeah, question what? in the what? world. No, what, s- subscribers the- are merely a means of getting money. That's all they're good for. Subscribers yeah, are worthless. I, I got I to gotta say, garbage. whenever people say, oh, I want to be famous, they, they really mean I want to have rich. I want to have riches. Like the fame and, thing and is love. never as good as, as anyone Whoa. thinks it is. I don't know about that. Well, hang on. Is this guy saying that, like, okay, in, in this scenario, is he saying, like, okay, would you take your situation right now, instantly, bam, you now have a million subscribers, and, like, you can use that to make more money? Because I think I could do definitely more than double my Patreon pledges if I instantly was granted well, he, a million he did subscribers. Say, he did we're s- all, even if we doubled our Patreons, we're still, still no, below the, the he poverty said in, line. He said in the question True. that they would never mm-hmm. pledge to you, a, a million subscribers that would never pledge. Yeah, but just based oh, on right, advertising right. alone, we'd be making way more money than we are doubling our Patreon. I'm, I'm you sure, but that's true. I'm sure, but and then those I don't, million aren't gonna I, patron. I'll just get patrons from the next million that I get from my that's true. From my that's first true. fucking million subs. Yeah, uh, monkey well, dinner with the I red think. pills. I'll I, take the I, million I, subs in a fucking second. I don't need a thousand dollars a month for this bullshit. I'll take the okay, subs. Okay, but I, if he, if he's saying that you can use that as a resource to get more money going forward, then great. If if he's just saying that like okay, you instantly lose all money, but you've got a million subs. No, this is why no, I don't want that. Why hide advertising? Based on what I assumed of the of the question, which is why I hate hypotheticals because other people had different ideas, I assumed that the subscribers were just added to the account. They weren't like, oh, you naturally gain a thousand subscribers and will probably gain more. You know, you could probably you lose more subscribers. I don't know, just depending on stuff. Like, but my main point is that I don't like fame. It's generally annoying, and the idea that it could get like out of control and people recognize me on the street and say, "Oh, dude, I want to get a picture. I want to," and I'm like, "Oh no, ugh, ugh gross, gross. Get, get, hey man, don't get out of here." Try it. But hippo, well, are you cool. doing this as a career to make like a living? Because you'd be making more money with this route with the subscribers and the fame. I want to be making cool stuff that I like. I mean, yeah. the money is good that I have money. I would like money, but. I don't really want to be like, oh, dude, that's the most famous. I mean, it's like a romantic idea. Uh, I'm just, I'm just very, I'm just, I'm just wary of the idea that if you get famous, you can't just not be famous anymore. And if you are not famous anymore, it's because everyone hates you now. Well, that's seems like a self-limiting thing, I guess. I'm not. It's not like I'm not striving to to get more fame. It's just that uh, I. I'm I'm cynical mm-hmm. to the idea that it would be an, an entirely great uh, thing. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, the only reason I do anything is for people to like me. 
Uh, right. So I, would take I feel like I feel like the number of viewers and stuff I get is like pretty comfortable. Like I can I can do things and I can say but what I want. It's nowhere near sustainable though. You're not. Yeah. You're not. You know. Well, yeah. I mean, like, give it a bit more. Get a little bit more. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't. I, okay. What I'm saying is like a million subscribers is too much. I'd like a hundred thousand or maybe something like that, and then not I'd be for happy me. forever. I don't care. Okay. All right. All right. And an well, audience that's like enough. big enough to sustain me is all I want. You I mean, I, I that'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> that'll just get me empty husks of people. That yeah, will... you don't you don't want to you don't want to pull a size. You don't you don't want to be in size. You position, know, I was just you know? gonna Nobody say wants that that yeah. size <laughs> position, and he keeps putting up videos about how depressed he is about it. So you don't hey, want to yeah. do that. Side you know, note, it's... by the way. Uh, side note on Psy, by side. Side note. Yeah. Yes. Side uh, note. Yeah, nice. um, I, I I watched like the first like five minutes of that like of the like Sai tries to get monkey into whatever the fuck Undertale, and mm -hmm. I can't believe that that person <laughs> is like real. Like, he actually <laughs> exists. In what way? In what way? Like he's just oh my, because he's, he's so just into Psy. Undertale still. Just fucking look at him. <laughs> you hear the episodes where he tries to get me into his fetishes. That's when you really can't believe he's real. Just, just look. Just, just look. Sigh. You know, in in Sai's defense, or not really his defense, but I I totally understand uh, the 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 thing about like being frustrated with having so many subscribers, but like people don't really care or like well yeah. they don't give you money or anything. I that that sucks. And or they don't sucks. follow you on like Twitter or, or really anything. Like they just want to see yeah, one yeah. specific type of video that he can't really inject his personality into, and that does yep. suck. See, that's all well and fine, guys, but it's fucking Psy. <laughs> yeah, he has no it's he has Psy. no human emotions that we know of, at least. So. Yeah. I mean, he ha he made a lot of money off of the Gangnam Style music video, but otherwise, he hasn't had much yeah. going for him. <laughs> Didn't he like I come mean, out as, like, was a pretty neo Nazi, good. like Hey of America, Super Islam, like <laughs> communist? <laughs> well, that's yes. all of South uh, uh, South Korea. So yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get another question here. Um, no, I want to talk more about Psy. This is the Psy episode. <laughs> Psy yes! episode. Psy! Psy! Please retitle this episode for Psy. Psy. <laughs> uh, hey, here we go. Here we go. At Clag the Blank uh, asks, uh, hey, ask BCP, thoughts on sex toys? I think they are the coolest. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The alarm's got off. They're on to us. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. No. They know. Fire? Uh, it's my house on fire. Hang on, I gotta go. Holy shit! Uh, not okay. be on fire. We'll, I'll be we'll back. mute this. In go the put audio. it out with a sex toy. No, keep yes. it on. I think sex toys. Yeah, keep uh, you it know, on. It's nice you know, ambiance for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I have a cool story about about sex toys. When I was in uh, Japan, I went to. What the to fuck comic... is that? It's, it's his goddamn fire alarm. Somebody's probably cooking some toast. Overwatch. And... Uh. Yeah, somebody, somebody's playing Overwatch too loud. Um... <laughs> so how much you want to bet Ben is not going to edit that out? Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get Gib to do it. <laughs> Step of your shit, Ben. Uh, th okay, this is the moment where Ben doesn't listen to the episode, so we can talk shit about him. Of course. Uh, of ben, course. you are a sack of shit. I hate you. Ben, you are I like the worst. you a lot. I'm the most pro <laughs> Ben. You munchie. But, but you fucking suck at editing, and you need to kill yourself. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, it's, you know, it's, it's not personal. You just have to kill yourself it, You know, for the good of the team. It makes sense to me. Okay, well that thing shut up. So uh, l l this is this question is good. So here's here's my cool sex toy story. So uh, when I was in Japan, I went to Comic Cats, you know, like the big uh, Dojin convention, the real famous one, all the animes, and it was really fun. And I went there with a couple of guys from the Japanese language study program I was I was going to, and uh, one of the guys um, had a friend. So who yeah, cock rings are great. What? <laughs> yeah, great, great. Hang on, I'm telling the story about about sex toys. <laughs> So I was, uh, me and me and all these guys, we went to Comic Get together and with this Japanese guy as like our guide. He was on, you know, helping us out and telling us where cool shit was. And that guy, as it turns out, he actually works for Tenga. He's like a Tenga employee. Oh my god, Tenga Top and Gurren Lagoon. Oh! <laughs> like those, yeah, you know. Uh, those Tenga eggs. I got some of those in the mail yeah, during that's right. my monkey mail bag. Exactly. The Tenga eggs and like the, they're like flesh light, flesh light, god damn it, the flesh light like things there that are not, you know, not the same brand or anything, but they make a lot of uh, sex toys and shit. Oh my god, shut up! I'm talking about fucking dick beating shit. Okay, so, uh, basically, when we were out, he was, uh, he, he was, you know, telling us about how much he loved the company and how much he believed in the mission of, like, yeah, you know, we want to give people, like, the ability to pleasure themselves on their own, you know, if you're lonely, if you need something, yeah, this is, uh, we got things to help you out. They're heroes. 
they are heroes. They are heroes. And so he was he was telling me all this stuff, and I mean, I was on board. So I was like, yeah, dude, I'm totally with you. But he was like, dude, I want to give you a gift. I want to give you something to spread the good news of of these sex toys. And I was like, uh, okay, what do, you, what do you have in mind? So he picked me out this like uh, this six pack egg carton of Tenga eggs. Yeah. And he gave yeah. it to me. He bought it for me. He's like, dude, I'm gonna give you these, but you gotta promise me that you will spread the good word of sex toys out in the West, because we that market is is resistant. You know, Wait. male sex toys especially. Is What's people a Tenga just egg? Are Tenga eggs the, are these like uh, little they're kind of like. Things? No, those they're not they're not vibrators. They're like these stretchy plastic sleeves that you stretch over your dick and they feel good. They're for I have a off. video of Impossible. My, my buddy Manimal <laughs> stretching one all the way over his arm. Really? Yeah, Impressive. I, I can post the link in the description. Okay, cool. I don't see how an egg stretches. That's I'm so It's not a real see, egg, goddammit. Yeah, watch the video. Watch the video. Anyway, so this is my this is my plug. That dude whose name I forget, Hiroshi, I think was his name. Uh, Hiroshi me. Everyone go <laughs> by <was> him. <laughs> yeah. He did it, man. That was all him. Uh, go, go. I don't necessarily, you don't have to support them, but sex toys are great. I'm um, spreading the good news. Buy Tenga stuff if you want to. I have no financial stake in this whatsoever. I just like the product. There you go. What do I uh, think about sex toys? Sex yeah, like it's not actual oh. sex, Munchie, so oh. maybe it's okay. Oh, you mean the magical weapons like honka mufflers and <laughs> spirit crumplers and yes. atom smashes and fuck up <laughs> boots? <laughs> and murder hats and baby givers. <laughs> Pretty sweet. <laughs> I have a story about all the sex toys I received dur- during my monkey mailbag thing where I made the great, great decision to open up a P.O. box and let my loving, adoring fans send me, you know, fan mail, mm-hmm. books, uh, games. But no, they, they sent me like fucking Tanga eggs and dildos and shit, <laughs> naturally. But I made a rule with myself that Whatever I get in this monkey mail bag, I will keep and use as props in future videos just so, like, people can see them and be like, oh, yeah, I remember when I got that. That's funny. Right, so right. I'm at a point where my my bedroom closet, and I'm still living with my parents, is full of sex eggs and dildos and adult diapers and all this weird, <laughs> kinky shit. <laughs> and, like, of, of course, my parents don't watch the videos or, or know uh-huh. anything about it. So they just, oh, like, right. one day I just suddenly have all this weird shit in my closet. <laughs> I'm like, you know, mom, it's for the monkey shit. You don't need to understand. Don't even question it. But then I was doing the Vietnamese crystal nuzlocke, and I reached a point, I think, at the Mm -hmm. seventh gym where the game froze and I couldn't continue, so I had to quit the series. But then I had a fan on Snapchat named Julian who said, hey, I'll I'll play a new file, and I'll catch you back up to where you were, and I'll redo everything. And I said, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. And he says... All I want for payment is for you to send me one of those Tanga eggs in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, okay, there we so go. You did it. And Julian saved the Let's Play. <laughs> what, a, what a hero. What a hero. He's, I don't know why he wanted it. Oh, oh, Here's oh, I be. can't imagine why. Like, I what can't a weird imagine request. why. Just fucking order your own. Why do you want one of mine? Nah, he, he wants it with your taint on it, you know, with your <laughs> yes. your your corruption. That's what yeah. he wants. <laughs> so that's my story. There you go, Julia. Nobody knew that, but now that's out there. Congrats. <laughs> well, I I only have need for one toy, and that is Lego. And when I'm in that the mood... That sounds painful to jerk When I'm in the <laughs> mood, so... I make for myself a little... A uh, penis prism out of Lego, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you know, I just, I just, just build it and keep adding bricks until it's completely crushed, and then you know, I, I attack people <laughs> with it. It's not, it's, 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 it's a joke. I'm not, I don't actually do that. Oh, see, I have a similar thing. It, I have this fetish God, where no I get off right. on accidentally stepping on a Lego and hurting my foot really bad. <laughs> I like that. It's very specific. Yeah, it makes me come every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, this... uh, speaking uh-huh. of that, I don't get that. I do not get that. I've stood in come? Lego boxes. Oh, well, come on. They're no. hurt like a motherfucker, dude. They don't hurt more than nails. People make them out as like, oh my God, it's the worst. <laughs> Yeah, but a nail, if you yeah, step on it, it usually isn't sticking up. Nail. <laughs> Guys, look at all the ways I can hurt myself more than a Lego. What's the big deal? Just, what just I mean, watch me. What I mean, I mean is the people, like people build it up. It's not like lighting your face on fire. I, all right, I, I get that it's it's funny to, to, to over-exaggerate something to be mm-hmm. like, oh, it's it's funny how much I, I'm scared of spiders or I hate Lego or... or you know, how much I, I'm willing to kill myself. You know, stuff like that. You, you wouldn't actually do it. 
you wouldn't actually go that far. You say you mm-hmm. do, and it's funny. But I'm j- I, I've never, ever hurt myself standing on a Lego except when I was, like, three. Like, I can stand on Legos right now. And it's I, fine. There's, there's yeah, nothing. Like, people that happens adults. to people when they're like eight. Yeah, so it traumatizes like, people, them from a young people, age, and that's just, why I it just, has that stigma. I just don't like right. the idea that it's cool to be an adult and saying, "Oh man, I still step on Legos, and I'm still getting hurt, and I'm still a pansy about it." <laughs> it like, hurts, dude. It, it doesn't really hurt. Does hurt that bad. Yeah, it, it does. does not. Okay, your your thing is you're you're a weirdo British Hobbit man with Hobbit feet, so and you can and take this kind like of uh, punishment. Yeah, yeah. You're, I can you're, I can do I used weights. to eat Legos all the time, so they don't scare me anymore. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I don't uh, like this podcast at all. I want to run away. I want to run away, okay, and, and I want to delete my audio. I don't like it. I don't like what's oh, been hippo. going on. Incidentally, incidentally, here's a question about that. It's uh, when is the okay? It's by at uh, Levy Jevy says uh, when is the PCB going to cross over with the insufferable social media podcast? Oh never, never happen. We hate those ever guys. Fucking ever don't fucking say that again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's don't off the even. Table. All right, new question. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think oh, of oh anything God. I can say that'd be funny, but nothing is coming to mind. Terry Dactyl says, "What species has more value, mimes or clowns?" You. Whoa. Fucking no, baby! It's, it's mimes. fucking clowns! Mimes have actual superpowers, though. You yeah, know? Like, and mimes have never made shitty rap songs. My favorite mime understand. is is my favorite mime is Pee Pee the Frog. <laughs> Very nice. He's a funny mimey. Yes. Um, Lay epic mi- mime XD. Here's what we have to know: Mr. Mime, Marxist influenced moon enemy, mime. <laughs> Yeah. He's a fucking communist <laughs> yes, in space. Right. Can't trust him. Clowns, yeah, he... homegrown, homegrown, American, land of the free, American first, Nationalist Party, German Workers Party, <laughs> taking back the state, giving the power back to the people, taking over the government, annexing <laughs> uh, the places where they did that. Poland, taking, yeah, you know, yeah. it, fucking Munchy. up. Munchy, yeah. listen up. I need you to answer this seriously. Who wins in a fight? A level 45 Mr. Mime or three uh, PCP or three uh, ICP. ICP juggalos? <laughs> um, Who wins? Well, 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 Who can well, use ju- Thunderbolt? Are... Who juggalos... the fuck can use Thunderbolt in those two Juggalos groups? are poison type, probably. They're, <laughs> well, they're, they're poison and the dark type. So, so, they, so, they, so they normally would be, but they have the dead type, so they're immune! Okay? Because... <laughs> Cause, cause, cause they go to the dark carnival. Cause they live yeah, in the darkness, right. bro. They live in it. They live with the dark carnival. They are going to know about all the miracles and the magic of the fucking world via the dark carnival. The dark carnival is your inspiration to witness that without explanation. Just take a look at this fine creation and enjoy a band with appreciation. Ghost coast, the midnight coast, mysteries of the world, magic at the most. I'm fucking gay. I'm a juggle. And Mr. Mime is a fucking communist. He's a Soviet <laughs> black state puppet regime set up by Stalin to be a tanga egg salesman for his personal use. It's not real, okay? Snap out of it. <laughs> We're breaking the social conditioning. <laughs> globalist! Put your mind as a globalist! Get him out! Oh, yeah? Well, guess what, Munchie? Mr. Mime can use Reflex. All that shit just went right back shit, to you. Shit, fuck. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Shit! Didn't see that coming. You can't beat Mr. Mime. He's he's too good in the OU, dude. What about the insane Mime Posse? That would be they, they don't they rap in silent sign language. Power at universe. Yeah, completely it's a, silent it's a raps. rap group for deaf people. Just just yeah. <laughs> Wait, they're lesser known. They're lesser known. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, um, how are th- they for deaf people? Because they only do sign language because they're mimes. Well, you know what you can do? Oh, like, right, deaf sa- people. I, I confused that with blind. Like, I just imagine, like, blind people would listen to mime rap because <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> okay, what do, you, what do you think about this? Okay, this is, this is my idea for music for deaf people. We sort of encase them in a, in a full, like, rubber suit, right? Okay, so their whole body is, like, uh, surrounded by this. And then, like, that, Neon Genesis that surface... Evangelion. Well, that surface is the speaker, and you know, like, because people, you, you know, music is like sound oh. waves in the air, and then you blast the beats 
into that surrounding film on their whole body, and you and then crack they can their bones. Experience the music, yeah. Break and them, crush and them. and then you buy like a pack of mechanical pencils from CVS. And right. You take off the eraser, <laughs> then you pour out the little like individual like mechanical pencil like parts. Oh, for- <laughs> then, then you put the I'm lead sorry. in down your lemon pipe, and then you push uh-huh. in there so far because oh, no. it's so small that it can fit Shit. right in. And then it gets to the point where it has a little bit of resistance, so it breaks. No. And now there's a ton. Uh, there's like five or so pieces stop. of mechanical pencil lead inside your lemon pipe, and you squeeze it around. And stop. that's what you have to live with for the rest of your life. Is, is that it? Is that it, Nate? Guess, yeah, God, I guess that's it. That's one way to think about it. The bot flies will uh, use the lead in their Minecraft experience. Expeditions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you guys uh, ever been to like a real musical production, like an off Broadway show or something? Yeah. Yeah. I've been uh, to a real Broadway show. Wait, uh, what what's Broadway the deal shows? With? They always have somebody off to the side of the stage doing sign language. Like, who, who is that for? Stage directions. No. No, no, it's for the audience. It's for the oh, audience. Yeah, but who, like, why would you go to a musical if you're deaf? Because you can't watch the show if you're reading the sign language and you can't hear the music. So, well, what's the point? It's the same with, like, I guess, subtitles and anime, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, but you in this kind case, of have to look away But in this case, you literally can only watch the sign language person. You can't watch the people on the stage dancing. You can't hear the music. I, I don't know why you would go to well, that show if it's $300 they're... a ticket. So sometimes you just want to go out on the town, you know. You want to, even if you're deaf, you want to look pretty. You want to Some go out with all like your fam. Some people are like partially deaf, like they can't understand things, but it's sort of muffled, so they can still hear like beats and shit. There, there's a lot to enjoy about the experience in addition to hearing it, I guess. So maybe you know, there's going to be the presence of other wizards, you know. Well, that's right. That's right. Okay, well, I guess there's, that's there's their a, choice. There's but it sounds a, retarded a, to me. Off, off, off the, off the record. Off the record. Um. This is terrible. Can we have this be the bonus episode instead? I no. don't want this to actually come out. What's wrong with it? This, this is perfectly episode. fine. I'm very embarrassed that this has happened. I'm I'm really sorry, no, everybody. What? Dude, you're Dude, fine. We'll edit Ben's going to edit it deal. out. He's a good we'll, editor. We'll cut this part out, too. It's, no. It's... No, cut this part in. Double it. Double <laughs> double it right now. Yeah, yeah, right, like, 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 overlay like, it. Echo and reverb it. Yeah. All right, Crunchy, Crunchy, you, should edit, you should edit the episode. I do. <laughs> okay, here's a question uh, that uh, I've been thinking about sort of a, for for a while. So uh, at Ice Killer One Five Nine, what a yeah. badass with that sick uh, uh, Escavalier icon that I love so dearly says, uh, "What are each of you guys' Myers Briggs type?" And the reason I bring that up is because I think this is retarded, and I yeah. hate those, and uh, I don't know my, why. My Myers Briggs like type them. is oh god, I S I S. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say I was gonna say ICPC. That's my yeah, yeah. Uh, introverted that's my socialist, uh, Isl- evil, Islamist, Islamist, sex Islamist, yeah. Islamist sex inferior, hammer. stupid. Uh, oh, I that's what they're called. As Those a, losers. Um, I would classify myself as a uh, a, a, D- a, a, a a supreme nihilist, deep cover Republican. <laughs> Deep cover, um, but, as wait, in like you a, you're deep in in the yeah. blue pill like, 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 trenches. Well, well, po- possible deep cover re- uh, Republican. I don't know yet. Okay, we're actually gonna well, pull back some layers. Does anyone here have any sort of defense of why I should give a shit about these Myers Briggs types? Um, and the, no. and, and tell me why they aren't just masturbatory things where you can be like, I'm a this. Oh my god, you're a that. I don't it's think literally the same shit as fucking. Them. It's the same oh. shit as fucking astrological signs. They mean sure, nothing. Yeah. They're fucking retarded. I don't Nate, give a oh, shit about them. Like star right, signs, those like, are fun. They're, 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 they're kind of fun. fun. Star yeah, signs. So that's are, the reason. Do, so the question is, do I like fun? No, I hate yeah. fun. But it's fun not fun. Okay. It's so like they can feel superior. Like, oh, you think you're cool? I have the same personality type as BBC Sherlock. Look how fucking cool and smart I am. It's, oh, that's yeah. And then they'll that be that like, fun. yeah, you're so cool. I have fucking Hitler's DNA and Gandhi's DNA. Top that, bitch. Yeah, I think it's yeah. bullshit, and those Tumblr fucks who like that shit need to fuck off. But dude, that, I, that's the I weird thing. I am an is... E N F P, bitch. Yeah. Is that a real? Is that real? Yeah, I, I I tested it when I was in like kindergarten. Well, well you're right. extroverted. Yeah. Somebody in the PCP no. has an extroverted personality. I don't yeah. Believe it. Imagine that. Much should be the one. Uh, okay, but here the thing about this that creeps me out is that it's like sm- like it seems like a lot of smart people get into this and like they. I don't know. Like people really care about this. So like is there something I'm missing? No, is there it's, actually um, a it's good not thing actual about smart this? people. They think they're proving that they're smart by doing this stupid yeah. little I think, test. I think what it is, mm-hmm. like like with the star sign stuff, the star sign stuff, there's not enough different variables right. that go into right. that. It's just when you were born. And people are like initially like, Oh well that doesn't mean anything. But when mm-hmm. it's like, Oh, I took a test 
And yes. now, now I have a thing that I can attribute to a celebrity that I like. Like now I'm like that guy. You know, it's it's more legitimate in their eyes, and I guess they like it. I mean, it's like I didn't an know. IQ it, I, test I, yeah, where the I, I, who I didn't know. Their IQ score aren't the people who are probably that smart. Yeah, I, I didn't know that it was even, like, not real. I just did it once, and I was like, oh, well. And then I forgot it, like, a week later, so. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you bring up IQ, because a lot of people think that IQ is, like, a totally bullshit thing that doesn't actually have any impact on life, but it is pretty well proven that IQ does have a direct correlation to, like, life success. Like, it's not all the time, but it does it does matter. Am I saying the type of people who actually care about it and talk about it yeah, are the okay. ones we yeah, shouldn't like, care I, about? I, I, I'm with I, you think about IQ so little because mm. I'm the smartest, you see. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. I don't yeah. even know what a high IQ is. Is it 50? Is it 2? Here's why two. Malcolm on Malcolm in the Middle is a great character because he, Malcolm X in, is so cool because he's fucking episode, black he and you want to be like him because you just love black people so much. Yes. As okay. having an IQ of 160, but instead of right. going around telling people his IQ, he proves that he's smart by being a fucking smart person. Yeah, Malcolm's great. Malcolm's uh, I like, Mumkey, like cut that this. Show. Oh, Ben, cut this part of the podcast. We should both. Talk, you should talk about Malcolm from the Malcolm in the Middle, and I should talk about Malcolm X at the same time. Go. I love Malcolm X so much because he just like he just he just wants to touch all those You're little kids, and it's not a problem because he just likes to do it. You know, dude, You're it's just not a problem. And he just gets just as black as he's a bad guy. He's just really cool, and he's just really want to be like him because I'm really insecure about my race. You know, you know, dude, I just really want to be black. You know, really want to be black. So I can, so I can, I can, I can touch all the kids. You know, dude, I just really want to be black. You know, dude, I just really want to be black. So I can, so I can, I can, I can touch all the kids. You know, dude, I just really want to be black. You know, dude, I just really want to be black. So I can, so I can, I can touch all the kids. They won't get mad at me. <laughs> Does anybody like else that when friend. they were kids, they related to the kids, but then when they were adults, they oh related to the God, adults? Oh my God, that's so no. true. I so relate to Malcolm X. Uh, Childhood <laughs> is relating to Jimmy Neutron. Adulthood is realizing that um, Malcolm Carl X right makes more along. sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I identify as a Jimmy Neutron kin. I'm more of a, uh, what's his dad's name, Hugh? Hugh Neutron, yeah. who loves ducks. Hugh and that was, yeah. His whole character was that he loved ducks. What the fuck was that And that he that despised shit? Dinkelberg. Oh, wait, fuck. No, that's, uh, that's the Timmy other one. Turner, shit. God. Guys, the, it up. Guys, did, guys, did you watch the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, a.k.a. the best piece of Kino ever to exist? There was, was that the one with, was that yeah, the one with Drake Bell? Yeah, there's so many. Wait what? No, no, it's Kino. when Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner went into each other's worlds, and then like all the characters that. got animated as the other one, which is kind of cool to see. But the show was fucking terrible. And, and Cindy and, and, wanted and, to fuck the shit out of Timmy. I remember. That yeah, was yeah, great. yeah. I was, was just about to say, like Cindy, like immediately, you just wanted to fuck that like snot nosed John Egbert looking pink haired <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. That was that was very attractive. That was I don't very remember harassing. that ever. Maybe you it's because he never had a childhood. Oh, boo! Oh, yeah, well, have you played he Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Swamp Zone PS2? the trying to make the millennials feel bad. It's the best bad. video game ever. Is that I'm true? serious. Yeah. Fucking Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies on PS2 is actually my favorite PS2 game. <laughs> I've never talked about it because I'm saving, like, a 20-hour, like, analysis. Could <laughs> that possibly be better than Shadow the Hedgehog? I just don't know. I just don't know. It's marginally worse. What about Thrillville <laughs> Off the Rails? That's pretty good. <laughs> You ever play we that carnival, one? dude. We carnival. That's the height of an that artistic was for PS3, American experience. You idiot. What are we doing? What is this? Nate's gonna find what another are... question. I, are... I sure am. I sure am. Uh, You're not I, the I, boss I, I've, of me I've now. I've been scrolling for some. You're not the boss of me now. And this I'm is what really I was saying. This okay, is what I meant go. when I was said I'm in, truly embarrassed and I'm really sorry. I, mean, I was the one who the made the piece yeah, yeah, this, this is the best. best. This is the best. Okay, all right. Here I, we go. And my, and, and my extreme one. distaste is part of why it's the best. That's probably yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Okay, yeah. I, here, here's a question. Okay, here we go. Ik, Iklone, I K L O N E, asks, uh, what's the best console of all time? And PS2. why is it the GameCube? And why is it the GameCube? Yeah, PS2. I said PS2 GameCube. before you said GameCube. Bitch, I win. <laughs> That's true. GameCube. I'd have to. I think I would go with the original Nintendo DS. Actually, I would go with the Nintendo what? DS. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Nate's why the right. original? I'll, the, or, I'll the original original like broke instantly. Okay, well to be fair, I, I guess my favorite was the um, you know, like the slightly smaller one that came out with. DS yeah, the DS Lite, exactly. The DS Lite. Um, it's that one because uh, it you had. You play Pokemon Platinum. Oh man. I'm I, I, that. Diamond, dude, diamond. No, okay. I, I've gotten like the most joy out of my my uh, DS than I did. Yeah, there oh, it is. It. There's the one. <laughs> yeah. You lied. You're a fake gamer because it's a Game Boy. I yeah, tricked you. you. I just, I just uh, to, I heard, to, to I know make sure that you Boy. knew like that Nate was a girl. Oh shit. <laughs> I know that's a Game Boy. I've heard that jingle no, more Hippo times than I've heard my own Nate, voice. Not on you. 
Yeah, I, oh. I got goofed. It's, well, it's, I felt it's tricked the Game either way. <laughs> oh, wait, because the, the DS starts up with that... Yeah, that's the one. Okay, see, I, I'm a real gamer girl. Uh, anyway, the, the <laughs> DS I played in my bed. The, my, my favorite way to play video games is sitting up with a bunch of pillows behind me, reclining in my bed, all tucked in and cozy, bunch of, with bunch of my red pills. fucking console in my hand, and I figured out how to hack my DS, so I had literally every game for free on the entire console. I'm a genius. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was who, the most nobody fun. didn't do that. I had that. Well, you did too? Okay, well, anyway. Yeah, my, my brother was a best. hacker genius, and he got the R4 thing, and he gave me, like, every yeah. single video game. Ace I played Cartoon all the Professor Layton's, all the Phoenix Wright games, mm -hmm. all the Mario Kart DS, fucking the everything. DS, the DS, for real, has, like, the greatest game library of all time. You know, there's, I like, a say, couple yes. okay games. Like, I hear this Final Fantasy game's okay, but it's shit compared to... There's Club Penguin on 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 that one uh, that that console. I was there's say, Club Penguin. There's a Club, Club, Club Penguin go. game. Club <sighs> Penguin, Jump Ultimate Stars, all the latent games. I think uh, something really good about the DS was when mm -hmm. like your parents would drag you to the high school football game and you don't want to watch it, so you go you into could the chat with the people on the fucking Picto Chat. Oh yes, and you yes, just harass the people because they can't prove who you are and you just talk shit you and make everybody prove. mad. Who else? Yeah. Who else had the DS long before they actually had a game for it? Or I had like I think I had Mario sixty four, and I would spend way more time picto chatting with people on that thing and you play that game where else. you draw like the top mm -hmm. half of a picture and then the next person could draw the bottom half and yep. it would look like yep. they're all one you picture. know i've, so I've never really experienced ds with with strangers or people because it bringing mm -hmm. like a ds to school wasn't something people did enough to be a cool thing mm -hmm. so you know I'd, I'd never experienced that 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 sort of element of it we have to go back. We have to go back. <laughs> we have to. We have to bring all our DSs and just go to a room and then just Radcon have three. them. Radcon three, bro. Radcon, Radcon 3. three, the Picto Chat experience. Rad Let's do Radcon it. 3DS. Let's do it. Radcon three DS. Yes. Um. By By the way, my most triumphant experience while playing any video game ever in my entire mm -hmm. life was thus: I went into GameStop. I bought a copy. I I already had. I already fucking had a copy of Kirby Superstar Ultra. But I just yes. got. I just bought another one. Cause who gives a fuck? I'm a god. <laughs> so I bought another one, uh, pre-owned. And then I 100%ed all three files two times over the course of one day, and oh then brought it god. back at the end of the night to return it and get my money back. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If that's is that even possible in that kind of oh. a timeline? Oh, it's possible, mate. <laughs> it's possible. It's more than possible. Holy I'm shit! I'm a f fucking juggalo. Guys, press press one in the comments if we should do a Kirby race in the PCP. I want a Kirby Just press race one. So press one. And uh, I, I'm type sheep so in the comments if you want to see a sheep over the game race. Hippo is not I would, invited. I would rather oh. do that because we can do I'm that quickly. I'm goat. I'm a new character. I'm goat. <laughs> Hey, hey, oh, this is a good question. Let's, okay, I'm so it's at, He's the goodest of all time. This is good, because it's at Janny's Makudomaru, our old friend, asks, Guys, just got a PSP, uh, PS4, and I have Dark Souls 3. What should I name a character? So I'm going to respond to this one. What should we name Undertale their character? Undertale 589. I mean, 587. <laughs> uh, how about... Um, uh, naming naming characters is not but, but difficult. It's difficult for the to other people. Is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Gib, give me something. You're a pun man. Uh, well, I don't know what to base the pun on. I don't know who this person is. Uh, I don't know Dark how they Souls. play. I don't know what they like. Dark Souls. Uh, how about Black Guy? Okay, yeah, Black Guy. Responding guy. with Black Guy. Black Classic Guy. Responding right now. Capital A U M A K U A. Amuakua. That's you, um, bitch. And Amuakua, I that's a Yua. Okay, I'm going to put Black Guy or Amuakua. There we go. <laughs> there. <Nice. laughs> responded. You typed that to him? Of course. I just responded to him. I, now he won't I listen to, to the podcast. You fucking oh, hell. True. We lost that whole view because of you, Nate. God damn it. Nah, I'm going to watch. They know. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> how about... Okay, here we go. Um, is there I wanna anything... Get someone, I want to I want to do uh, Okay, someone. hey, dude, go for it. Jump in, jump in. Okay, okay, okay. From an un untitled abridged. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Lock up the Jews! 
<laughs> ah! Just what kidding. Was... I would never do that to my brethren. I'm, Wait. Actually, I'm actually really tolerant, and I love all Jewish people. The one yeah, thing that don't I lock would up do ben. was lock up all the neo Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, fuck I would him, never dude. do that because I'm actually an extreme racist and Islamophobe, <laughs> and um, I'm I'm really I'm really not happy about it. So the thing what I actually would do is I would just take some antidepressants, please. Please, please. Was the yeah. question, what would you do? Yeah, I think it was, what would, what would you, you do? do? That's, That's a good question. question. <laughs> yeah. Good question. Wow. Wait, who asked that? I think you said I that. Would, I would continue to be on the podcast right now, I guess. Oh, that's good. That's good. I need my... You bring a Just whole like filling them out on the disc. He's got a real soundboard situation going. He's probably surrounded by like various different materials and substances. Yeah, he's the full effects notice. king. I need exactly. my blue pills. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't even know how he achieves these sounds, but uh, I. A muakua. He broke. He literally broke. What did you, did you break a muakua? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, his Dark Souls three play is ruined. <laughs> um. God, these questions are shit. Bobby, I'm, I'm going to call <laughs> yep. it uh, at Bob Kevin 101 Your question fucking sucks. Uh, best waifus and or favorite video games? Dude, what the fuck kind of question is that? I'm bored as shit. Never come to my house. Riska uh, and Homestuck. Is the joke both that we've done those episodes and that you've made videos on those subjects this month, Nate? Yeah, I, something, you know, okay. along those lines. Bobby, yeah, you're a basic know. bitch. Some, sometimes people just don't know anything and they I'm just, see I'm just tweet. kidding around, dude. I'm just kidding around. <laughs> what was the question? It, it was best waifus and or favorite video games. Just Why and question. or? Why is that an and or sort of situation? I don't know. <laughs> you can only like one. You can only... Uh, you I like video games at or anime waifu people. Guys, I, I think you guys might have done yeah. this one last week, but mm -hmm. did you guys do what is your least favorite creation that you've made? Uh, the yeah, universe. I don't, so. oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't fucking remember. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer it now anyway, though. My least favorite creation I've made, honestly... And that's from Giffy I, McGee. Oh, cool. I, I would have to go with, and I, it's kind of silly, but I honestly cannot even really look at my Undertale video anymore. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I like, agree. I completely it's, agree. It's because, like, uh, I don't know, like, there's a lot of reasons why, but it's, at the time, I it was like, It feels too okay, much like is, a game theory. Well, I don't actually think it's that much like, I think it's <laughs> much better than a game theory. Um, but, uh... Like, okay, so it's obvious that I, I put way too much effort into it. So when I look at it now, all I see is, like, wasted time that I achieve. And, like, what did I get out of it, you know? Like, 30,000 views on a video that, yeah. in my opinion, is without a doubt, like, the most... Uh, it, it has the most to say about Undertale of any video I've seen. But, like, at what cost, it's, you know? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because, like, Undertale was, like, so overdone by everyone but nobody did it like and the thing properly it's just the, I, and so yeah, when exactly. you come along and say all these things it, it, by that the point by the time you got it out like the basic idea of what you were saying had, had already been said in various other places just not yeah, in, in yeah. a cool enough way but yep. it, it felt like really old and and very exactly. flashy for no exactly. reason and it's uh, honestly it's kind unfortunate of, it's honestly kind of why i don't really have as many warm feelings about Undertale anymore, even though it is a, you know, objectively fantastic game. I'm just sour about the whole thing, and it, it bums me out. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. A few Except for Sans. weeks ago, Sans. me and Ben were watching I Love Impossible a lot, as we do all the time. Mm -hmm. Of course. And uh, I remarked how it's literally best game ever Undertale. All of her videos are literally best game ever Undertale. How do you figure, sports fan? Um, you <laughs> are Kimpos I Love Impossible a lot. There's just <laughs> shit constantly okay i yeah. see what you're saying i see what you're saying i worked way too hard to try to make like everything that happened really cool and flashy and poppy not it's not don't do it kids don't don't go I down that road impossible you my Same least favorite thing that person. i've made thank you kp a while ago mm -hmm. probably almost it's probably over a year ago there was mm -hmm. a lot of subreddit drama going on at the grade a under a subreddit Oh, really? Okay. And I, I didn't like his videos in the first place, so I thought, okay, I'm going to take advantage of this drama before anybody else, and I'll make an anime review of Great A Under A, baby. Oh, I'm going to mm -hmm. put him in his place and make him look like an idiot. And the video is dumb and gay and whatever. Nobody cares. Yeah. I don't know if I saw that one. I remember That's okay. I was don't watch to, it. I was okay. trying to catch okay. up to speed on the Monkey the Anime reviews because this is when I first found out about you. And I get to that, and it's so, like, weird and not, like, anything yeah. else. 
And, like, and I also talked different. very, very slow. In my old yeah. videos, I do talk pretty slow, and people always complain about it. But in that one, it was like I was trying to talk to a group of retarded people, yeah. which I yeah. guess yeah. would be yeah. the great yeah. Andre yeah. fan yeah. base, so it kind of fits. <laughs> But, I don't yeah. actually remember what was in that video that was so it bad was about like, it. It was just like, oh, he, he doesn't like, like he, these he, banned people. He was on a stream talking about how a 14-year-old girl in his moderation um, of his subreddit was like a whore and was like saying oh, mean stuff whoa. about yeah, her what, and stuff. What was your video about it? What did you do? I, I was just like pointing it out, and that's oh. it. I okay, see. I see. But yeah. that's just a theory. The great <laughs> A Andre theory. Yep. This is this Thanks is good. I like watching. this. Gib, what's, the, uh, what, what do you hate about yourself? Hmm. Ah, hmm. Wow. In terms of videos. What a, what a, what a question. <laughs> um, I guess sometimes I say things without actually understanding whether or not I actually agree with myself. I just mm -hmm. feel like I need to say something. So sometimes in podcasts, this is like like a specific moment. Mm -hmm. But I think earlier in the podcast when I was talking about it's something, I yeah, forget. Yeah. The, the, I think the I know fame. what you mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was fame. Like, I, 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 I just had a visceral reaction about, like, fame probably being bad and I don't really want to be recognized on the street. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes, you know, I, I, I regret certain things I say and I don't know, I don't like that I can't take it back. I don't like that, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can take it back, but it's like it's now recorded and it's like a part of a thing. Mm -hmm. And there's various moments in podcasts and stuff that I just don't like what I say, and I'm like, oh wait, uh, you're 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 trying too hard, or you're you're silly, then you're not supposed. To, it's a bad time yeah, to, yeah. to, I uh, fucking. Uh, uh. I, know what you mean. I mean, you I know can what you always mean. state a retraction. I think that's something not enough people do. People never like well, to the admit thing is, when they were wrong or when they change their opinion, and they'll just like mm -hmm. hold on to stupid ideas for no, no reason. No, no, no. That, that, I mean, I I would retract it if, but I I I need to think about it before what you know. I oh, know yeah. whether I actually disagree with it now. I just know that you were all against me, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I that's maybe I'm being an idiot. It's okay to have an unpopular you. opinion. Well, no, I mean, I I think I know what Gibbs getting at because like it, once you say something, even if you like said it off the cuff and you didn't really mean it, like once you put it out there in any form, like people just latch onto that, and even if you make a correction, you know, people will people are resistant to like change the impression that they've already formed. So. Yeah, 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 that shit happens. It's, it's annoying. I think about that too. Yeah, I mean, I've always been scared of podcasts. I I, mm -hmm. I do them because they're like a challenge to to. I mean, they're not really a challenge anymore. I can just hop on, just say, ah, mm -hmm. oh, fucking, I'm here. <laughs> but but you know, they used to be like, oh no, oh no, the whole time in my head, and everything was like, I was tensing up and I was sweating and I was shaking. Like, no, I can't, I can't. I'm not saying anything. I got to be saying something. Yeah, I know you know, you pod podcast. Any podcast I've been in, I feel like I haven't been like. I mean, no, that's not true. See, it's, I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing where I say <laughs> things that something that's not even real, not even actually what I think. Oh, I'll, I'll just shut up. That's that thing where it happens. The thing that you're talking about. Uh, isn't there a word for that? Uh, gay. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> at Rock Relob asks, is any. Is there anything of you guys as you are super into that is so weird you don't even bother recommending it to other people? Oh, yeah. Um, what the fuck was that question? I didn't even understand that. <laughs> is, is there anything, anything that you... Think it's that so weird that you like it, but you don't yeah. want to recommend it. Oh, well, it okay, depends okay. who I'm recommending it to. Weird things are right. inherently good to me. If you show me something that's weird, I will like it, no questions asked. I want to feel slime, I want to feel sludge, and I want to feel most of all ooze. Well, what if I just watch the new Taylor Swift music video and I'm like, you know who'd be into this shit? Uh, Munchie. My buddy Munchie would love, uh, I you know, love so... Taylor Swift. <laughs> she used to go on B I and I love Taylor my Swift B Taylor. bros. I love Becky the Frog. Dude, Kirk. dude, dude. dude. <laughs> The Taylor Swift Taylor. That's a oh, that's a good one. The Taylor I Swift love Taylor. You Hillary, you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah like I'm with her. Um, I I mean I like a lot of uh, vaguely weird things. Sometimes I post them in here where I feel like, in the PCP chat that is, mm -hmm, when right. I feel like um people in the chat would understand it. It's usually just YouTube poop things that mm -hmm. sometimes there's one that's like uh can be appreciated despite not really being into YouTube poop, because I don't think any of any of us, aside from me, are really into that sort of YouTube stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I don't know. So I, that, that's generally what I don't recommend, even though I love it. It's just, it's yeah. one of those things that's like, sure. you know, you, if, if you like it, then we can have a conversation. You tailor your suggestions, great. yeah, you, you tailor your recommendations to, like, the audience you're talking to. So, like, I don't know. 
I wouldn't come on here and recommend the same things to watch that I recommend to you guys. Or it just depends. It depends yeah, on, I on found a lot of people, especially in these online communities, have a predisposition about all reality TV and assume that it's all shit. So That's even true. though Survivor and Big Brother are two of my favorite shows, I never want to recommend them because people will mm-hmm. just write that off as being something that they think it is. So I just gave up a long time ago. You know what I'm just realizing is that people you know normal people generally just recommend things because they like them and not really thinking about who they're recommending it to they just want people to like things whereas us like we do like reviews or or we talk about media mm-hmm. a lot so the idea of like recommending something on a like a platform is different from just saying something to a friend yeah like you're you're talking to an audience that right, you know right. like it it's not worth your time to talk about something that they may not already be into if you know what they're like I'm with you, dude. Yeah, Marge, where are we? We're in Undertale, <laughs> Homer. Undertale? What's that? Skeletons and monsters? <laughs> Love and shit? You know. Like sands and papyrus. <laughs> oh, shit. We got... Get the what? Mm-hmm. We gotta get the mm-hmm. fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, here, here's a question. This is just a fun one. Uh, at Casey Snap says, uh, "Hey, we've got our red pills and we got our blue pills, but what's your pill?" So let's decide a PCP official pill that we can uh, oh, you know, orange distribute. Oh, oh a, 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 a pill for the mascot. What pill for is that he? guy? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's kind of gray. Gray pill is that? That's already taken, isn't it? Um, Plus, that oh. sounds shitty as fuck. What about uh, mage pilled? We could all get mage pilled. I'd like to get mage pilled, but that's that's a specific, you know, it's like what a, what in, what in, 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 is involved in being mage pilled? You know, you're just like a you know a nice you make a lot of memes, you know, nice animation, soft animation. spoken guy who likes to mm-hmm. talk about anime in, in, in video games. You know, and that's to what play we all MMOs are. with their friends on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. It's quite and a wholesome you're a really pill. Really tall girl. It's a pretty wholesome pill. Germ pill. I'm just gonna round some off here. Germ pill. Antidepressant pill. <laughs> yes. Um, um, empire pill, saturation oh, pill, crushed blacks and whites pill, high <laughs> oh, saturation I'm pill. <laughs> wait, 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 sweet, uh, sweet bro and hella Jeff pill, Sabaj pill, I'm that. Sabaj. What about pill pill? Pill pilled. I think, I mean, our conversation right now is pretty pill pilled. Yeah, sure. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know the pill thing. The the red and the blue makes enough sense, but what the fuck is all those other ones? I can never remember. The green them. one That's... is if you're fucking blitzed so hard you're gonna fucking turn over there was a and whole die. big image like of a hundred different types of pills a billion yeah. different types of pills and i'm like i don't have time to read all oh, this pill knowledge guys, i don't want to get it wrong though question that Wait, yeah. no, good sh- and not shit. no i'm super into the expanded pill lore and you guys are always just on the mainstream <laughs> no, me too. bullshit me too me, dude okay, you guys okay, are just okay. so pill pilled i just can't I know, take it i know i know all right, He's boys. Get that expen- yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Since okay. we've got you know a, an even number, ten people in the PCP right now, sort of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't need to go <laughs> yeah. into it. right. Yeah. We may or may not have left the chat today. Only to come back probably tomorrow. <laughs> uh, if you had to ship all the PCP members with each other with no repeats and no one left out, who would be with who? Hmm. Who is that from? Uh, that's from hmm. KZ Snap. I, uh, she's, she's getting a lot of questions today. I can yeah. already tell uh, there's going to be a lot of demand for Gib in this situation. <laughs> no. Fighting. We don't there's get gonna a pick who we want. I think, I think the more canon, naturally I think, better. I think okay. the canon ship is me and Jesse because people okay. have drawn us together before. Yeah, no, the, people, yeah, see, people are going to fight that. Ship, on a ship in the Pony cast. Like, yeah. As, as yeah. God damn it. Me and Gib were on a yeah, ship. ship. Me and Gib were on a ship before anybody. God damn it. We've been doing the Poddy cast for over a fucking Everyone year. Everyone hates the Poddy cast. It's just Nobody arbitrary. Hates. But the, <laughs> we're the first one. Up. Fuck you. Now, would I be with Ben or with Digi? I would, see, I would all. I would automatically put I would Jesse, say Digi. And get, Jesse and Digi I would put together. No. That just seems like that just seems like, like, that's like they, guys. That, they were the that's original. Like your little sister. They were the original. I mean, I know Tom and Digi were actually the original, but yeah, Digi Tom clearly them, is. By the way. But Digi is so invested in like his Digi friendship that uh, I wait. I, I feel like Digi and Monkey would, would, say? would would be a good ship. I'm gonna say Digi is invested in his Jesse friendship. Like that's what he is but, all but about. Wait. Guys, we can't mm-hmm. just focus on love. We need all right. the quadrants. <laughs> so, oh, no! So, so, oh, so Monkey right. would definitely be in Kismesis with Ben. with Ben, no yeah. doubt, no yeah. doubt. Right. Mm, yes. Um, what a caligunous Yeah, I'd probably go with Ben, just because it's like a love-hate thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that fits. It's cute. Mm-hmm. How about... Uh... I'd fuck Ben. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Gibbon would be like Moirails with fucking Jesse, I would think. 
probably. Uh, that makes yeah. sense. No, 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 yeah, that, that because is they're, a, on that their, is they're on their super pirate ship or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. 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 The, the first ones to ever be on a ship, yeah. And then Tom um, and Digi would yeah, go together because they're like the old boys. Um, yeah. I they haven't fucked true. in a long time, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether, yeah, whether Tom's it's like... like Tom's it's like, so it's like their exes. He's like, he's so ethereal. He needs to become like corporeal again, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, we have true. left? We have like Nate, Mage, Nate, uh, Munchie. Mage. No, uh, no, no, I guess no, 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 put, I guess no, you should probably no. put me with Mage because I'm heterosexual, unlike everybody anyone. else. So, yeah, I should probably never. be with Mage. But then again, Mage is like asexual. So, oh, you know what? Really you know what? The perfect out. pairing: Mage and Tom, because Mage is asexual and Tom mm. is bisexual, so he's gay. That works. So out. he could be gay. So that'd be like perfect. <laughs> that works out. Wait, so who is Nate with? Munchie? Who's left? No, it's Munchie. No, no. I guess it's Munchie. No, uh, Tom, if you're, Tom, if you're not actually bisexual, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't realize. Yeah, he's, oh. Okay, good. Yeah. Cut that out. Uh, <laughs> Munchie, I believed I'm just... you just because he's vegetarian. I was like, yeah, he's probably bisexual <laughs> uh, too. Why Munchie, not? I'm just letting he's you know, I'm a man too. and I have needs, and you will satisfy <laughs> those needs. This it's is true, your you obligation. You do love fat people. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, Munchie, we both know only women can be fat. We know this. Right, we know this. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think Nate should wear a pearl costume and then fuck Steven Universe. Which that's is a Munchie. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steven, Steven! Ah! Yeah, oh, I'm me. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheese my burger, <laughs> <laughs> Lois. <laughs> oh, uh, Peter. Okay, so that's everybody paired up. There you go. That's official. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Oh, oh dear! Hey, here's another one. KZ again. KZ snap. This is oh you see. God, KZ is the fucking VIP with decent questions. Yeah, it's about Take time note, people. Was. It's because these are like specific and they're fun to answer. So here we go. At KZ snap says, uh, "Would you ever get a tattoo? And if so, what would it be?" I bet you guys have all thought about um, that. Yeah, chakras on all of my chakras. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all sixty-four points. That's a lot. Yeah, bro. Holy shit. And he, of course, used the you know the ancient Hindu uh, what is it the manji you know the right. the the swastika would be on all chakra points. Yeah. Right. I've always been I very would... anti tattoo, but I think I would mm-hmm. get one as a joke if I lost some crazy bet and I had to get sure. like Digibro's face on my ass or something. But otherwise, I'm that's not just really fun. planning on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a fun story. I would I would get uh, an emoji movie ad on the tip of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> so that yes, yes, that's great. So that Which every vagina will go by. The, the, oh, you for, know, it's for the movie, dude. It's for the yeah. movie. The, um, the 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 water splash one, probably. That's, <laughs> yeah. Or, that's or, or the, or the hands doing the... ballet. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, I'm, you could I'm do the splash on duality, the two girls. You know, I'm pretty spiritual, so I would get a star of David on one nipple and a swastika on the other. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh I, yeah I have actually thought about this and for many years now everyone's gonna think I'm a fucking sellout piece of shit Uh-oh. but I've wanted to get the uh, the Joe star star on like my on my upper left oh, back but I've wanted sellout. that for like 15 years okay no. since like I first read Jojo I'm not one of these fucking anime new joys I hate people who like the things I like only I'm allowed to like it Is you guys that a Jojo shit. reference oh god I'll probably Am never do it though it, it's literally yet? it's become so normy that I probably just just won't ever do it because I don't like how you know what things are. I've, I've never really thought about having like an actual tattoo like I'm thinking well it's it's kind of painful and it's permanent like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm probably gonna regret it but as a joke as a as a hilarious joke <laughs> and as long as it's on my back so I don't have to look at it all the time I would put like mm-hmm. a like a like a like a as if I was married to Riska like a like a weird love thing yeah right like, or maybe yeah. just a symbol Some, something like really retarded and, and hilarious <laughs> By, by the way, so Friska will never die. She's real forever. She's real forever. But by the way, that that just just to in- increase my indie credentials, it, 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 I wanted that tattoo after I read part six of JoJo, and it was after Jolene did her epic fight with Guard Westwood during the Survivor battle. That was the moment Survivor that made me want to do it. Fucking fight in the entire fucking series. yes. Thank you. It is the best fight in the entire series. God. Somebody gets it. The Eye of the Tiger. That's what. That's no! literally what's named after. And and it's it, guys just Jolene is the coolest. So the, the, the look on fucking Westwood's face in every Jolene, single panel. Jolene, is the most I've ever seen my life. Just, yeah. Sorry, what? I've Westwood. got a topic um, for discussion. I hate JoJo. <laughs> okay, go on. Go on. This one okay. comes to us from Monkey underscore Jones, who wants Gross. to know 
Was Nate best guy ever justified in stealing a picture of some bitch dressed up and she's like fat and ugly? Oh, this one, huh? This <laughs> question. I think we huh? should talk about it. No, we haven't what? talked about it. You know, that's what? I'm totally fine with that. Okay, yeah. well, let me give you the backstory real quick. So in my um in my video about how uh, uh, communist glasses are not fucking orange for Mia Mafava, um, I, I used a cosplayer's photo, and full disclosure, what I did was I just Googled, like, female communist cosplayer. Like, I had actually used this image before in my uh, Gurren Lagann review, so, you know, the criticism mm. would be equally valid that I used it there as well. And uh, to my discredit, I did not credit anybody who was in it, which I, I agree was, at no. worst, like, not, not uh, like was rude i guess like i don't, I don't think, think i actually need you have to. any responsibility to do that if well, i like, had to the, give credit yeah, to yeah. every single google image i put in my videos the whole description would be nothing but that shit okay well here's the thing yeah. i i think that it is possible like we, we say that and we, like but the argument you're kind of making and i think about this myself because i do this a lot too is like that's really just us being lazy whether or not we're actually allowed to do it that's just us saying like it would be too much work so obviously i'm allowed to do it I don't know if that's actually true, you know? If well, your image I, is on the front think... page of Google, you don't own it anymore. I don't think that's accurate. I well, do not I think, think that's it accurate. Is. I think I'm going to use think, whatever I think, the fuck I think I find. what it is is it's <laughs> it's not illegal, but it's just it's it's a nice it's a nice gesture to link to something well, okay, if you're let's, using it. Let's separate the thing this... is though yeah, okay, that okay. if you're using a lot of images, mm -hmm. you're not going to go through. Nobody's going to go through the the the, the rigmarole of of getting links to all the specific different sources. But that, that unless you're like, completely insane. But that's like saying that like if you do like many crimes, like they all become less important because like you've but you know, it's not like a crime in the first place it's making okay, some okay. fat well, bitch mad well, that she didn't get extra three clicks on her tongue let, let me separate this into two things okay we can i think we can deal with one immediately then we can just talk about the second i, I don't want to confuse the two so there's the legal issue and then like the moral issue so legally what yeah. i did was 100 percent fair use yeah there's yeah. absolutely right. nothing wrong with just using someone's image because all i was doing was commenting on it i wasn't like saying it was mine this was just me describing a picture 100 percent totally fine yeah. then there is the the like the more moral issue like is it good to do that especially considering well, i didn't give credit have... and by the way by the way gib i have amended so i have added links to those things in the description because i agree Okay. You know, I did think like, okay, is this person specifically commented like, hey, not cool. You should, you know, at least let people know who I am. And I agree. If someone goes out of their way to say like, hey, let me do this, it would it would be merely spite to be like, no, I'm not going to fucking do that. And I am not a spiteful person. I don't want to do that. So now has she acknowledged go. this? But, because she she like suck her goons onto your video to like attack it and download you know, it and post comments. Like she was being a huge cunt about it. Fuck I, what she I, wants. I actually disagree. I actually people were saying that she was being quite rude. Of I, I don't. I really think that that's the case. Like, it, it, she in her comment, she complained, like, uh, you know, hey, you didn't give me credit, not cool, uh, way to just use my picture, you know, without my permission. And and then also, like, it said, like, especially in, like, an, in this kind of light, like, because I was insulting her for not having, like, the perfect glasses color. So let me say, first of all, I, I don't, it's fine. Your costume's, costume's fine. Don't worry about it. I thought um, it was ugly. <laughs> well. Jesus. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I think she could have nope. done a lot better. Terrible We all cosplay. could do, we could all do a lot better. Um. Well, I, okay, I have I have okay, some some uh, viewpoint on this because mm -hmm. sometimes I'm I'm too lazy and I don't want to play a whole game to get a specific clip right. in in a video game review or anything like that, you know. And um, when I do that, I download the video, and then uh, since the video has the name of like the YouTube link, you know, the the YouTube title. Later, I can just copy paste and find the link and then put that in the description. And I generally do that. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I'm just like, eh, it's like nobody's gonna notice. Like I, but if it's like, mm -hmm. like for the Kingdom Hearts uh, GRPG, I didn't play that game. I didn't record that game for all the GRPGs. I don't record the footage because yeah. that's too much. That's too big. So I, I go around and I, you know, I, I find people who have played through the whole game and I get certain things from from mm -hmm. the videos and I link to them. And uh, I make sure to say I stole this content from these people, just so that nobody's a accusing me of being like uh, right. subtle about it. Like I'm saying, I took. Do you this say that in the stuff. video or in the description? In the description, it said content, uh, uh, game footage stolen from, and right. then a right. bunch of links. So okay, I, I I feel that I don't feel the need to do that all the time, but when it's like a lot. You know, when it's something that could potentially be noticed. I mean, what are I, the... I, I, I feel yeah. I feel like it's it's just customary to just if you have an easy way to put the link in there, you may as well. There's nothing really well, wrong with Hippo, having a bloated somebody, description. What if somebody went to Gibbo Gibbon Gaming and they right, used right. some of your footage for a re review? Would you care? Personally, I wouldn't give a shit. 
I couldn't care less of a shit about that at all. Um, it means nothing. If somebody to me. went to, to took something out of one of my streams, uh, if I was notified of it, if somebody somehow noticed that it was my playthrough, and they put it on their video, and I went to look at it, I I guess it would depend on how much. Well, let's use like I, like I, on a baseline. Yeah. Let's, let's say it's just a clip from one of my streams. Yeah, they're not using really the audio. Mind. They just need footage of the game that they're. Revealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I wouldn't give a shit. But I yeah. feel like who gives a I, shit? Yeah, but I I mean what I feel like doesn't necessarily but guys, like I'd rather I'd rather have no altercations happen. If somebody's gonna get mad, I'd rather them never get mad or not have a reason to get mad if there's a link to their thing in the description. So what, what you guys are talking about is just people's feelings, right? Like that's what's in consideration. Yeah, now, yeah that thing that I never care about. Not. Right. <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, I have thought about this. You know, I, I did some reflecting on this issue, and I thought about, like, what if someone used one of my videos, like, you know, put a fucking weaponized thickness clip or something into their videos. Like, what if they did that and they didn't credit me? And, you know, like, it's just the joke. Like, it's not like they're saying it's theirs, but in the exact same sort of situation, they put a clip of mine, you know, it's totally fair use. Legally, there's no problem with it. But, like, I think I would really like a link there. I think I would sort of be be miffed if there wasn't a link to, to me. I, yeah. I think, yeah, well, the thing with that... Um, I would agree that I would be miffed as well, but mm. it's also kind of already become a meme, and it's like you you, you ever hear of okay, like, okay, people trying thing, to though. copyright memes that just memes doesn't... be something being a meme does not invalidate like ownership of of like the image. It, it it simply does not. It doesn't do that immediately. And I'm not saying I like own the intellectual rights to this phrase or anything. I'm talking about. You know, like this, yeah, yeah, this yeah. I know, I, I know, yeah. but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, blame somebody for having heard a meme that I originated and not going okay, to the lengths to point. figure out I where it point. comes from. Like, I, if somebody did that, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't care because I understand that if it's out there and it's all over the place, right. I can't really do anything. Okay, about I'm, it. I'm with you on that. If someone like stumbles upon it and uses it on that basis, absolutely. Because like I do, I mean. I do that all the time. I, tons of the images I get, in fact, most of the ones I use in my videos are stuff that I've collected from 4chan over the years that I don't give any source for, and I couldn't even if I wanted to. I've just found them, and I've saved them, and I just throw them up there. So, I mean, maybe that is morally not flawless. You know, I, I would like to give credit to every single person who has made these things over the years. But, well, uh, see, that, you, know. you just gotta you just got to think a bit of, of like, like what's, what's realistic. Realistically, you know... Nobody's really gonna give too much of a shit if uh, somebody's like if if uh, somebody I took a video game clip from mm -hmm. finds it and they notice it, uh, they might say, "Hey, could you link to my thing?" Like that's the least, that's the most that could happen. It's not really gonna be a big deal, but I put the link there anyway, just just because like I, it's unnecessary, but I feel like you know why not? It doesn't take it. Doesn't, it takes like a minute to do that. So, like, realistically, what what sort of effort do you would you expect people to go to to to, yeah. to link to something? If it's if it's just something in a Google search, you would have you know you click on it, you can get the image right there. You don't need to go to the source of the image on DeviantArt. Right. It's it's a it's a bit more effort. It's I don't expect people to to do that. I don't do that. Okay, I but you know, I you know, I'm totally with you on that. But I would say if if that person were to come to you and say like, hey, dude, I noticed you use my video or my my image or whatever. You know, that's cool. Not the biggest deal. Maybe I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter how I feel. But uh, would you give me credit? I'd really like credit. If you don't like do that well, if you don't accept that, that that's like okay i'm just saying like it's easy to like not worry about it. like ah, whatever i'll just use the image who gives a fuck but to then ignore someone who comes to you and like requests it I'm, I'm not saying that makes you like a monster i'm just saying like that's not cool it's not a cool thing to do to well yeah that. obviously okay. like if somebody went out of their way to tell me i would yeah of course okay because right. just saying because then they've given their link to to me you know th their name like i can easily find it like if I have to go, if they expect me to go searching for it, because mm -hmm. if I, I if I don't remember where I got it from, then I I might not do it. Like, I don't I think, don't but I mean, if there were any legal issues, I don't remember or uh, it's too much work. Those are not actual legal defenses. So I'm just saying, if this were a well, legal issue, well, that's the thing we've just de 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 we've right, decided right. that the legal stuff is like it's mostly fair use basically all the time. Yeah, so yeah. what's the moral standpoint, Nate? We all know that it's legal, but why do you kind of have a shaky moral standing on it? You, well, you say it's shaky, but I think I've been pretty clear. It's that no. I mean, they're... like, why do you think it's not moral? Is what I'm asking. Oh well, it, really, it's because I've consulted how I think I would feel about it, and I think if someone used my work without crediting it, I would not like it, and I would want the credit. 
So that's, somebody that's just like took feel. a snapshot of one of your videos because this was you didn't steal her cosplay. You used a photo of the cosplay. So if somebody steals your well, clip, that's different than if somebody takes a screen but, cap of your clip and uses they, it. I don't think that's that bad. Well, I mean, you got to put the full context in because the the whole picture was like you could tell this had been photoshopped. So like someone had worked on this image after a picture had been taken, and so there's the cosplayer involved as well as the photographer, and I'm assuming that's the person who also like did the the photo editing because you could see like the background had been darkened to make this person like pop out more. Um, you know, like that's work, and in a perfect world, yeah, I think everyone who does any work on something like that should should get credit and get. Uh, so if the person who designed the character came to her and said, "Hey, can you delete that? That's my character. Please don't cosplay as that." Do you think she would delete it? She'd say, "Fuck well, off." Well, but again, I'm I'm not saying anyone should ever have to delete it because I think this is totally yeah. fair use. It's just an issue of you know, if, is it a cool thing to do or not? And uh, I think if the if the character designer for Kamina came out and was like, "Hey, dude, you're using my shit without crediting me. You got to credit me." I, I would say that, yeah, like, she should credit and just be like, by the way, this character was designed by whoever on wherever the nah, thing's posted. Nah, I don't Hiroshima think she should be required Nagasaki. to do that. Well, they're not required. They're not Adolf required. Hitler. But it just, to, to ignore, like, the, imagine if fucking, I don't know, imagine if Elliot came up to you and was just like, uh, Monkey, <laughs> you know, by the way, dude, I'd appreciate it if you would just put links to my videos for all the clips you use and everything. <laughs> just, like, imagine, imagine looking at him and saying no. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, like, the thing you, is, you can do it. He's not going to say that it's... to me in person. He would say it online, and I can just ignore the email and move on. <laughs> well, yes, you can. If you, he came you to me in person, can. he'd probably have a gun, and then, of course, probably, I would do what probably. he said. I think, I think, I think <laughs> what this is, is that it's, it's the fact that somebody got upset about it, and right. it's a deviant art thing. Because, like, I, I, I get my images from Google. I don't usually pick fan art. I usually go for, like, official art because yeah. it's less hassle. It's, it's more recognizable. See, I use a ton of fan art personally because I get it all from 4chan. So yeah, I'm, I'm so, on shaky ground here. Yeah, you know, if you use an art, what, let, let's say um, I drew uh, an image of something or mm. I took a, p a picture on Instagram or something and I find it in a video by someone else. I would be like, oh, okay, this person knows me. That's my first thought. Mm -hmm. um, or they, they found my image somehow. Um, I wouldn't immediately be annoyed that they hadn't linked to what I had made because, well, actually, I don't know. Cause yeah, I'm not you might, right? By trade. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, okay, it's but confusing. You know what? I, I, uh, generally, I, generally, I, generally, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't care so much unless it was like a, they were just stealing a huge amount of something I've made. I, I have a position on this, and this, it, it's it's exactly where I was before, just, I don't know, with all that other shit. It's that I'm going to continue doing exactly what I've been doing up to this point of using the images that I've collected and not really worrying too much about giving proper credit to people. But if yeah. anyone requests it, I will certainly add it. If they are like, hey, dude, you use my thing, uh, appreciate credit, I'll be happy to put it. And I won't go, like, out of my way to not put credit if I can easily do it, but it's just, it's kind yeah. of excessive. I mean, I, I, I was in this position when I made my Cory in the House review. I, mm -hmm. I needed a thumbnail, so I just Googled Corey in the house HD picture, and then right, I just took right. the first thing I found. But it turns out that was the thumbnail for somebody else who made a similar Corey in the house review, and he sent me mm -hmm. a message on YouTube said, Hey, Mumkey, I love the video, but I made that thumbnail. Can you switch it? And I was like, Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. sure thing, buddy. Yeah, so fair. I switched the thumbnail. So yeah, I guess I see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. But I didn't um, have to, and that's the point. Yeah, you didn't have to. You didn't legally have to. Great, well, great review by Mother's Basement, yeah, by the way. Know. Love that Corey in the house video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, mine. I think mine came out before his did. So fucking great mother's basement video. Oh, okay. Mine well, was funny. Next. are there any next. any decent Speaking questions? Speaking of left? mother's basement, mother's basement asks, "Why do you kill me? Yeah. Why? Sans, <laughs> hey, here's why a, did you Sans, kill mother's why basement? Why am I locked Sans? in the basement?" Here, here's, oh. here's a real question. Uh, Jer and this, I've, I guess I've been thinking about this. At Jer Gerard asks, uh, uh, hey, PCP Jack, guys, why <laughs> why don't you tell us the topic of the episode when you ask for questions? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Is that something um, we should do? What, I do, what do you guys no, think? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's something we shouldn't do because if, uh, say, if it wasn't like a stupid uh, episode like this, yeah. we would have been talking about that topic the whole time yeah. and then questions right. would be something else. If That's they ask true. questions about it, and it's just like, well, we already talked about that. We already yeah, talked about that. We already brought that up. Different. I agree. That's okay. That's a good answer. There you go, uh, Jer Gerard. Yeah. Okay. Let's say uh, here's a here's a shitty last question. Um, uh, at Doctor Sandshrew, I like the good name. Asks, uh, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, I thought, waffles. Okay, okay. When I was a little boy, I used to be super into waffles. I was like a super like 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 waffle yeah. like national champion. Mm -hmm. Like like yeah, <laughs> I was like a waffle nationalist, and I, and I wouldn't like have any pancakes bullshit. 
Impressive. I used to always eat them. I would. I used to always eat chicken and waffles. That was. That was. That was what I ate. That was the only thing. Well, I ate. dude, are you like African American or something? Lamau, come on now. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah. I love chicken and waffles. But then though. later, fucking delicious. I. I. I Munchie laughing at Nate's joke was funnier than Nate's joke. Of course it was. My jokes <laughs> are shit. <laughs> Go on. Um, then, then, <laughs> then I discovered something amazing: mm-hmm. pancakes with only <laughs> butter on them. It wow. was like a grand reveal, even though it yeah. was the only other option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pancakes. And I was what like, What I ate hmm. next will make your dick blow off. <laughs> if I eat the pancakes in synth waffles, then I will have a different taste than the waffles. And so Imagine I put surprise, I surprise, I put it to. I don't. <gasps> but see, see Munchie, I, I, I especially like. I especially like how you specifically said uh, pancakes with just butter. Because. A lot of people will drown their pancakes in syrup all the time, but I, I, I'm in agreement that I, I think that just pancakes and butter is kind of better. It's kind of like the most delicious thing in the world. Yeah, pancakes mm. and butter is so really much. good. Here's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. You yeah. Get, you get two frozen Eggo waffles that were probably in there like eight months ago. Right. You fry those fuckers up in the toaster. Then you put peanut butter on them. You make a little sandwich. Ooh. Then you douse mm. it in syrup, and then you eat that. That's way better than any pancake. Hmm, I'll have to that try that. That sounds like a glory hole, but, like, better. Because it's not sex. Ben wants to know in the chat what topic are we doing. Uh, he's listening. Ben, we're not doing any topic. What do you mean? This is laziness. This, we we <laughs> yeah. covered laziness thoroughly. Thoroughly covered You know, you know covered guys, it. guys, okay, fucking, that, that was we pretty good. We were talking about it's, clickbait. Wait, it's, I wanted it's, to, it's, this it's, episode it's, clickbait? Yes. Oh, yeah. I think that it too. might be Hip, clickbait. Hippo what? No. Uh, pancakes. <laughs> the only time I've eaten pancakes was only time. Uh, in well, yeah, they don't have. It's not. A, it's not a thing. They have hot in, cakes. In they have crumpet <laughs> they pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes for breakfast is not at all a thing. What, what the fuck? <laughs> when do, do you, you even eat, eat breakfast? We don't eat pancakes. It's just not a thing. Oh, do you eat waffles? What about waffles? Country. Literally fucking treason. What about well, waffles? Wh- what are waffles? I'm are they just you guys like lost the Civil War? Oh my god, they're like, Belgian waffles for a reason because they're from Europe and all Europe is the exact same. A <laughs> uh, waffle. All right, I think. Is it just like a grid pancake? Yeah, yeah. It's or is like, it something it's like else? It's, it's like more crispy. Thing. It's crispy. Yeah, yeah, it's thicker and crispier. Okay. And, yeah. I've never really had a waffle either. What the I have okay. had like pot- I have had crazy. like potato waffles, which are waffle shaped potatoes, and they I love those. Okay, those Completely are good. different. I know that's that's what I associated waffles was because that with because that's the only thing I'd ever had that was called a waffle it was of a little potato thing and I was always confused when when people in America would talk about having waffles and I'm like wait a minute that's not a waffle that's not that's not it that's not what it is <laughs> anyway the the only time I had pancakes uh, was at Radcon two uh, during whoa. one one of the times we went to breakfast and we had them and I was like huh I, yeah. I get, that, I get, I get that it. That was the time. Oh man, that's nuts. I had no idea that was your first time having pancakes. <laughs> I think it might have not been the exact first time, but it was the first time I okay. had like an American pancake with syrup on it. I've never had, oh, never had man. syrup on. on um, I don't know, guys. We, 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 we're running kind of long here. You know, we've been going for a while. Shall we get to the topic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so I, I, get the topic. Pretty, I was gonna yeah. do that, but that, I'm glad you did because uh, <laughs> laziness is like. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, uh you know, know, it's, it's I hard. get it. Whatever. Yeah. Like, laziness is like, I do it, but you know, like, I know I shouldn't, but you know, like, whatever, you know, like, everything Sometimes, sometimes it just sort of, uh, uh, I can't think of the word. I mean, you should do I, a series. Yeah, get your camera that. and do it. No, it was a joke. Oh, hey, we it's should, a, uh... It's a joke, I was too lazy episode, to find the word. <laughs> if we end the episode, maybe Nate can record the fucking audio for my Pokemon tournament that Hippo's in. That's true. Uh, dude, I was up till fucking 6 a.m. making my I fucking me a math of a piece of shit. You're lazy. Right. lazy. I said I'd get it to you this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm oh, lazy. I'm oh, lazy. Oh, my God. Oh, so my God. Oh, I'm my God. Fuck, oh I'm video God. every fucking day for oh a month. God. I'm the lazy one. I've been working eight hours a day. <laughs> God damn it. I've got a full-time out, fucking dude. job. Sell trying out. to make that. I'm a fucking sell. I'm a piece of shit, huh? Everybody hates fucking Nate. Fuck you, people. Go on, I bought yeah, a what do you mug. say? I, l- I like that mug. Uh, anyway. Um, Did you get it yet? Uh, Did it come in the mail? Uh, it's not here yet, but okay. I'm going to drink out of it when I get it. I bought a shirt, too. Uh, I bought one. But uh, fucking uh, lazy. All right. Mm. Here's the th- here's the thing about lazy. <laughs> Didn't realize we were actually gonna um, do it. But okay. All right. No, no. Here's here's the thing about lazy. Okay. It's the name of a song by Deep Purple. It's fucking great. Go listen to that. Oh yeah. Song it's like lazy on a sunny afternoon. No, no. That's the yeah. that's the Kinks. I think. Yeah, it's uh, the Kinks. <laughs> 
Oh, is that the song that goes, are you a real villain? (laughs) That's a great song, Gippo. That's by Deep Purple. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Yeah. That's that's by Deep Purple. Now listen uh, closely. That's me, the guy who Here's a little the Adam, lesson right? in laziness. Uh, this is going down. Munchie <laughs> takes a piss. <laughs> Deep purple is if the name of our band. If you want to you, Nate. <laughs> me and my fofa is really great. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you no, fuck I was going to say something. Oh, some... moves. I... oh what? no. What's that sound? No. Oh, he's pissing. What's that sound? God damn it. Oh, God. This is Continue. truly the yellow Be careful not to take a piss. Press one, press one, number one. Hey, hey. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, we got our mandatory piss in. Let's uh, let's let's end. Let's stop. Laziness is good, and I like it. And um, praise the Lord. Praise Keck. Praise uh, Judas. Suck my dick and fuck my ass. Bye, everybody. Bye. Um, Wait, I done. was about to say something. God, no, you <laughs> no, are not. It's over, please. <laughs> we're done. No, 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 no. That, I want the, the podcast to end exactly when I said that. Okay, uh, okay. all right, we're done. I, unless Munchie is doing we're something done. like having sex with his cat, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, fuck my cat! <laughs> okay, right, we did done. it, folks. Done. Fade in the intro. <laughs> fuck Ben. I'm stopping recording. <laughs> Hashtag fuck Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working.